Oh my god, RCB is getting run over. It's just an X-Max. And today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to fix the biggest weakness of the Traxxas X-Max. All right, the biggest weakness of the Traxxas X-Max and the Max is the battery tray. The battery tray is awful. I throw it in the garbage, let me go get it. So here's the battery tray. It, it's a system with a slide out locking system like this, boom, boom. So it does the job if you're using Traxxas, a specific size of Traxxas battery, okay? But everything else, it's a pain in the neck, you know? Uh, different sizes of batteries, where the cable comes out, it's just awful. Um, and so you're very restricted. I have like a dozen batteries and I can only use one of them uh, in here. But uh, b because it's the only one that, that doesn't, that, that will insert and it doesn't uh, threaten the cable. So one of the great options out there is extreme racing battery trays. And they're not cheap, but hey, they look, they look like well-made products. So I put them on my X-Max and my Max. I'll show you briefly and then I'll demonstrate it on the trail. Okay. The problem with this, uh, this product is kind of expensive uh, uh, for, for what you get, but it, it does, it's the only, <laughs> they're the only game in town and uh, it works pretty well. It's the, there's no instructions. You know, there was a scan code, I scanned it. It sent me to the product page, we had no instructions. Somehow I got the video, uh, I think it's theirs, but it was awful. Uh, and then I saw some British people, a British couple and ah, so I made my own, okay? I don't like to do how-to videos because I'm no expert, but I made my own. And uh, I'll explain to you the basics and I'll talk you through the, the video that I made. So this is what, you, first you gotta remove this, brutal. Uh, and then you got to insert this, you have to drill holes. So there's holes you have to drill on the chassis, boom, boom, um, because there's bars where these hook straps come in. So, but the cool thing is you just use the carbon fiber base plate as a template. So you just put that on where it's gonna sit and just drill, drill away, and then, and, then, and then attach the brackets, and then you're good to go, all right? And now you have really flexible uh, uh, battery trays. So the key is uh, any size, you know, the key is just boom, it's so easy, whether they'll, 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 they'll stay put or not. And then the Max, once I got this, then I was able to try all kinds of batteries. You know, a, a 3S, a 4S, a 6S. Uh, this is the strap that broke, so I replaced it with another one. I just had them lying around. So, but very sturdy, the batteries never come off uh, and it's never threatened uh, the, the cables, you know, which that's the stock uh, Traxxas battery tray does. You know, it'll screw up your cables and, and, and pose a fire danger. So, there you go. The first step in this task is to take out the battery holders, the gray horizontal bars. So to do that, we need to free up the cage. And we do that by taking off the screws on top of the support skeleton and then on the sides so now some people take out the whole top cage but we just push push it out of the way and pull up on the support beams holding the gray battery holder so boom now we have a an open canvas at this point you can return the the holders because they do support the cage. We forgot to mention that you need to loosen the bolts on the bottom of the vehicle uh, to free up the holders. There's uh, eight of them. Now we open up the package. So we have straps, we have these brackets and these screws, and then we have these carbon fiber plates. So the really cool part is the carbon fiber plates, you just drop them in, it's a tight fit, 
and the places there's many places for the brackets to fit in but just put them on the very ends to give you more options and that's where you drill the holes so you, you do have a template right here so the the drill bit that you want should be slightly bigger than the screws uh, I believe they're M4 screws that are going in that way they don't bind into or thread into the, the chassis so right here from the bottom you, you put the install the screws from the bottom two at a time so these should not be threaded these screws are going gonna thread into the brackets so the brackets are really the the heart of the system here because they hold the velcro and then from there just put the brackets on right there and it's good to not tighten this because it was, it's it's easier to insert the velcro uh, when you have some movement in the bracket and then tighten it after the velcro is installed so that's a little hot tip so the question needs to be asked you know what's the purpose of the carbon fiber plates um because i think that's what's making this set setup so expensive so they don't have to be carbon fiber but uh and they probably survive without them uh you just need a an, an aluminum plate or something uh all you're doing is supporting the the chassis so the the screws don't pull out so if you wanted to make your own here's the idea you need some u-shaped brackets and a way to support them in the chassis and there you have a battery holder so repeat four times And now insert the velcro so you insert them obviously upside down easier said than done because I tightened my brackets learn from my mistakes but if you have a flat screwdriver that will help you feed it through there you go Feed, feed, feed. So these, this Velcro is a little bit long and not the strongest in the world, but it definitely does the job initially. If um, you can trim it, no problem, and you can get stronger Velcro. Maybe a different color too. So there you go. It makes battery insertion so much easier and it's safe for the battery and the and the cable you can cinch it down you can add a little bit of foam support if you want uh, but yeah it's cool less less damage to the battery with less hard surfaces touching it so two of them Take note that on the Traxxas Max, uh, it's the exact same system, but you just use one instead of these two. But with two of these, really cool, you could run all kinds of setups. Uh, small batteries, big batteries. I even tried one 6S on one side and it seems to work fine. So there you go. Tighten it all back up. Get ready to rally. Be rid of your stock battery trace forever. Hope that's helped for you guys. All right. Thanks a ton.